What's up everybody and welcome back to my studio. I'm Joseph Fincham, you are you, and today in this short little video we're going to be taking a look at how I finally painted the pedestal on my mini graffiti wall piece and I, I hope you get something out of it and enjoy it as much as I did painting it. I used the airbrush to do this, I did it outside, things didn't go exactly as planned, but I'll explain that in a bit. So I started off by mixing a deep magenta, uh, basically a magenta and a little bit of black to make it a darker, more recessed kind of color. As you can see by the painting going on here, it still came out looking kind of hot pink. Um, I used the Golden High Flow uh, airbrush acrylics, and the first time I tried to mix the magenta with anything, and it really did not... It didn't change the value of the color the way I thought it was going to. It looked like a deep magenta or a dark red in the jar that I mixed it in but when it came out of the airbrush onto that white plaster cement pedestal it definitely had that look of being hot pink so later I will try to address that in the best way I can I started by filling in all of the cracks of where I want the folds of the fabric to be because again this pedestal is supposed to look like it's draped fabric over a solid object. The paint did not go on all that well. Uh, this material, the plaster and cement, is still very porous so it was absorbing a lot of the paint and I had to do multiple coats, three or four I believe, to get everything completely covered. I then started with the red, trying to keep the paint out of those creases so that it has the depth I'm looking for, so it looks like a shadowed area. Again, being that it's hot pink, it really didn't immediately create the depth that I wanted. Um, I will adjust that by doing a black wash over or into those creases. Um, I tried a couple of different methods of getting that right. Uh, putting the paint into it very watered down and then spritzing it with water to make it run out. But that was a little too fast so there wasn't enough time for the paint to actually settle. So then I just went in and started using the brush to do it. Um, the coating of the red took, again, two or three coats because it absorbs so much into the plaster. That stuff is just a sponge for, for anything liquid. So... I did my best to cover up all the sections that are there, uh, rotating the piece as I went, and using very, very low pressure and a thinned down paint. Um, that may also be why it absorbed and didn't cover that good, being that it was a little thinned down. But mostly I think it's the absorbency issues of the material itself. While painting the bottom here, I had to reset and refill a few times because this part was never clear coated uh, originally I had put a clear coat on the entire pedestal except for the bottom so even though it was absorbent it still was 
it still was able to leave some of the paint on the outside. It wasn't all soaking in, but on the bottom, ooh, it just sucked it right up. And, you know, I basically got the best results I could do. Um, you can see a little guest appearance by my dad in this video. He walks by a couple times. Hey, Pops. Everyone say hello to Pops. And then I started with the the, the black wash, uh, very watered down acrylic paint, um, still using the golden high flow. Um, I didn't want to airbrush it in because it might have splattered a little too much. The brush itself wasn't the cleanest method. Um, it definitely had its shortcomings and if I did it again, I would probably do it a little bit differently because if you got any of it outside of the crack or the crevice that I was trying to get the paint into, it definitely stained the red a little bit. So I had to go back in with a brush later and just try and cover those up a little bit. There are some spots where it just did not want to cover, even with very opaque straight red paint. But it did get the job done and do what I wanted it to do. I apologize for the shadow creeping over the piece as I'm working. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected it to take because of some interruptions and a few things that happened around on my property and with my feline friends. So, every now and then it there was a small delay that I had to take care of. So, that's about it, and I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a little something or got something out of it that you didn't know before or didn't think of before. And uh, I'll see you next time.